Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I am talking about Doctor Stone, season number one, episode number eleven, Clear Worlds, episode directed by uh, oh not I'm oh, sorry. I don't know what the director is. And um in this episode here we have Sinku with or Chrome and the and the helper everybody else in the crew trying to make glass. Because if they, they can make glass, he can work on he can work on chemistry and stuff like that too. And they have all the material they need, they have all the, the stuff that they need to make the glass, and they make and they make glass. But the problem is they don't know how to shape the glass into the image that they wanted to make it so they can use it in the proper way. And but and, but but before they can actually start making jars and everything like that and containers they can use, um you have um Sig um Suka who is their, their, their little assistant, their little, um, little private detective who goes into the research for them, has an issue. She can't see that well. And so, um, Cinco took her mask, took her little watermelon helmet off, and then her, and then her face shrinked up like this, because she's squinting, because she can't see. But she can see better with the watermelon thing on, because she's looking through like a little, little pinpoint, so she can see better through that. And so Cinco figures that out and says, there's nothing wrong with you. You had no, no illness or disease. You just need glasses. And I'm gonna help you see the world the way you should see it. And then when she when she finally gives the glasses to put her on, puts inside her little um little helmet that she wears, and then seeing the joy in her face when she finally seeing the world for what it really is. She's seeing all these stuff. She's seeing all the beautiful sunflowers. She's seeing the sky. She see, she saw a cinco. She saw a chrome for the first time without look everything looking all fuzzy. And the joy and the happiness that she had when she when she started crying. That really got that scene got to me. I said, oh man, I was I, I really. I said, oh my God, because it was so beautiful and so sweet. And then watching this little girl see the world for the first time, because all she's been seeing the world is like through a fuzzy lens. And now she's finally seeing the true beauty that's just she's living in. And I just, oh man, I, I, went, I really got to me. I really got to me. So they, but they're also having trouble making glass. And we get, we get introduced to this, this new character, this older man named um, Kasaki, who is the, the craftsman of that place. He makes things. And so... Sinko wants to recruit him into his world of science, but he doesn't want to take no part in it. He doesn't want to help, he doesn't want to do anything. So, Sinko and Chrome decide to make glass. First, Sinko ties him up. He ties him up, and then that he forces him to watch them make glass. And they're doing it terribly. Horribly. And Cinco knows that somebody this old, who, who's good at this skill, who have been doing this for a pretty long time, watching these young kids mess things up, can't help but get involved. He can't help it. He can't help it. He says, "This is dumb. People are a bunch of crap. You're doing crap." And I, I, I you know what? Fine, fine, fine. I'm in. And then watch him go into action. And also that he's he really jet too, which was also kind of surprising because he comes he comes off like he's shriveled and old. But he took he took his shirt off. That's no, he's super jacked. Like wow. And so watch him. He was working and actually make the jars that they need was just amazing. And then you have what's going on with um. Uh, uh, um, Kenru and Jinru, both of them are the guards, and both of them are trained to to take on that on the, the other me head dude. And and you got you got um, Kohaku training them. But the problem is you got Kenru also needs glasses. But he's t but he thinks though his pride is too strong. He he too scared to say he needs glasses because well if he tells he needs glasses that's not a weakness. And he's not he's not really a real man anymore. And that's a bunch of stupid, which is stupid, which is gonna which is gonna hinder him and um making um fighting because he can't really see that well too. So that's which is just dumb. But overall, I did enjoy this episode a whole lot. I had some sweet touching moments in here too, like this whole scene with um Cinco and um um and Soka and Suka. Watch and watch. Like I said, giving her, giving her the glasses. I mean, the animation on this show is, is uh, beautiful. The, the, the design of each and every one of the characters I like. Uh, introduction to the new characters, to the old man that that brought, they, they brought in. I, I like him as a character as well too. And I'm like seeing this whole world of science that Sinko was creating. It, it, how it was expanding and growing. It's going at a slow pace, but it's getting there. And I like, and I like the, the progression that it's going into. And I, like, and I also like that how they, how they bring science into this world and how they introduction, introduce it. And like, like, like they're teaching us. And also education us, educating us at the same time too. And I really do appreciate that. Overall, another great episode. I mean, not really a lot went down. Not really a lot happened. But other than them, them making glass and stuff like that too. Because they still work trying to work on a cure to pretty much um, to help um, Kupaku's sister who's sick. And so, and they also got to make soda. They also got to make cola. Hopefully, they, I'm not I'm sure how they're going to squeeze that into the picture because they got, um, yeah... The mental is due on their side, and the only reason why he's he's doing there because he wants he he wants some cola. So yeah, they'll work on that too. Overall, I said 
fun episode, funny episode, sweet episode, touching. Some not 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 really a lot of fighting in it too, but the, 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 with the animation, the moves and stuff like that, the way it's done is just amazing, amazing. So. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the episode of, of Dr. Stone. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it. You will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big like and thumbs up. Shaboop. And subscribe to my channel and share. I would really appreciate it. Like I always say in my dreams in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out. Uh, people.